Hello everyone, I once again welcome you to this new module that is Molecular Orbital Structure of Benzene. This is Dr. Nirbham Das from Department of Pharmaceutical Science, Assam University, Shilchar. On completion of the module, the learner should be able to draw the Molecular Orbital Structure of Benzene, Resonance Structure of Benzene. Let's recap. So what we have learned so far? In the last module, we have seen the cardinal features of aromatic compounds. We try to differentiate aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds based on Huckel's rule. We try to elucidate the structure of benzene. Now let us see the molecular orbital structure of benzene. The skeletal structure of benzene is constructed with 6 carbon atoms and 6 hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom is bonded to two other adjacent carbon atoms. and one hydrogen atom. Now the electronic configuration of carbon in ground state is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz0. It doesn't have enough unpaired electron to form the required number of bond because the carbon is bonded to three other atoms. Therefore one of the electron from the 2s2 orbital is promoted to the 2pz orbital, the nearest energy level. Now this promotion will cause the carbon to go to the excited state. Now the electronic configuration of carbon in excited state is 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. In benzene, this carbon atom is bonded to three other atoms. Only three atomic orbitals having unpaired electrons are required to form the necessary bonding. These three atomic orbitals, that is 2s1, 2px1, 2py1 will combine together to form three new hybrid orbitals. As per molecular orbital theory, the number of atomic orbital is always equal to the number of hybrid orbital form. Now in benzene, we have seen that there is formation of three new hybrid sp2 orbitals and these orbitals are directed to the three corner of a trigonal planar structure. It is having a geometry of a trigonal planar with an angle of 120 degree apart. This is the structure of the new sp2 hybrid orbital. Now the leftover atomic orbital that is unhybridized atomic orbital 2pz1 will participate in the pi bonding. Now all the carbon atoms in benzene are sp2 hybridized as discussed earlier. Each carbon atom is having a trigonal planar sp2 hybrid orbital. So one of the sp2 hybrid orbital will combine with the s orbital of hydrogen and two other sp2 orbitals of each carbon atom will combine with the sp2 hybridized orbital of the adjacent carbon atom and this will result in a flat hexagonal structure forming sigma bonds. All these bonds of this flat hexagonal structure are sigma bonds. Now let's jump on to the reflection spot. Can you tell me what will happen to this unhybridized 2pz orbital? You pause the video, you think and then play the video again. Now this unhybridized 2pz orbital will combine together by sidewise collision forming the required pi bond. So the possibility is there that they may side, there may be a sideways collision like this or it may be like this. There is a rapid interchange between these two structures as discussed earlier and they are called canonical forms and the combination of these two forms results in the formation of resonance hybrid and this is the ultimate structure of benzene. This structure is the hexagonal structure that is sandwiched between the pi clouds. Thank you for tuning in. Happy learning.